One of the simplest methods for finding your PAP is using an armadillo device. To find your positive axis point at release, use the traced line of your first oil ring and place the armadillo on the bowling ball. Mark the location of your axis. Mark your grip center line. Find your grip center by finding the equidistant point between the front cone of your finger holes and the front cone of your thumb or thumb slug. If you are using an interchangeable thumb slug device, measure from the front edge of your inner slug. For additional clarification, please see page 1-5 of the Equipment Specs Manual. Draw a perpendicular line from your grip center towards the side of the ball with no track rings. Draw a line perpendicular to the line you've just drawn that goes through the marked axis point found from the armadillo. This line will be your vertical axis line, or VAL. Measure both the distance from grip center to VAL and the distance from the intersection of those lines to the actual marked PAP at release. For example, if your axis length line is 5 inches long and the actual marked PAP is 3 quarters of an inch above the intersection, your PAP is 5 inches by 3 quarters inch up. To find the positive axis point at the break point, use the last oil ring and match a line on the armadillo with that track flare ring. Repeat steps 2 through 7 to find your PAP at the break point. To find the positive axis point at the pins, use the last dry track ring and match a line on the armadillo with that track flare ring. Repeat steps 2 through 7 to find your PAP at the pins.